everyone, it's Kim the Homeschooling Grammy. Today I'm going to share with you my book of cursive writing words. Let's do a flip through. get started. Now, as you notice on the top, it says ages six, seven, and eight. I don't pay any attention to that because, you know, everybody teaches their child cursive at different times and everybody's homeschool is different. And most public schools are not even teaching cursive writing anymore. So there you have it. Um, if your child is familiar with writing letters in cursive, then this book will build on that foundation. This is a fun and easy way to help your child learn to connect cursive letters and read and write words in cursive. So we had done another cursive book previously um, that really just worked on letters and we did start doing some words and I thought this would be a fun way to keep going because it's just about practice, really. That's all it's about. So uh, my book of cursive words, the aim and the purpose of the book. So it tells you the aim and the purpose. It tells you what each of the sections in this book is about. Um, there's a review of the cursive letters. There's words in cursive starting with A to Z in small case. Then there's words in cursive starting with A to Z in uppercase. And then there's a review. It tells you how to hold a pencil properly. And then it tells you how to use this book. So it's really, it's a great book. Um, and we are, we are currently using this book. So you're going to see some of Hope's writing. Um, and here it starts with review of all the lowercase letters from A to Z. And then the, the review of the uppercase letters of A through Z. And then it starts here with writing of words. And, you know, each, um, Lesson is front and back, but we've only been doing one side of each lesson. I don't feel the need to make her do any more than that writing for each day. So that's how we've been using it. So I'm just going to skip through really quick so you can get more of an idea of how it's used where you don't see her writing. Let me go up here. Okay. So here's a page that we haven't done. So as you can see here, read the word aloud. And then say the sound of each letter as you trace it. So here's the word uncle. So you trace the word here. You're going to trace the word again. And then you're going to write it on your own. Or actually, actually, you're going to trace it again here. So all of these are traced. So let me bring it up closer so you can see. So like xylem. And you see that it is connect the dot. And Hope loves everything connect the dot. So this was really fun for her to do. And she loves it. One of those things that she picks to do first. And see, here you go again. And then they'll have a review. So here's a review of all the words starting between M and X. And here again, you'll have like the word meet, queen, um, uncle, newt. There again, they are all connect the dot. So, but then it keeps going. So let's move on a little bit more. Um, and here we go, starting with sentences. So read each sentence aloud, then say the sound of each letter as you trace it. So, dogs chew on bones. So you see the word dogs that they trace, and then it says chew on bones. So they're writing whole words, but they're putting into a sentence. And that's a review, actually, as well. So here's writing words J, K, and L. Jam is spread on the bread. Jam is spread on the bread. So they're saying it again. And if you notice, the words have gotten smaller. See, they're bigger here. And the font size has gotten smaller as they go on through the book. More writing of words. So let me go even further in here. So they're writing words, but they're also reading whole sentences, which is, I think is important because, you know, it's one thing to be able to, to write these words, but you have to also be able to read the words as well. 
And here's another review. More review. And more review. So all the end of the book is review. And I thought this was just perfect. It's just enough. It's not a whole lot to do every single day because I don't want it to be overwhelming. And we're just taking our time with cursive. It's not something that, you know, she's got to learn this like right now. So for us, it's perfect. And we're just going to, I'm going to find another one after we finish this one. I'll find another one that interests us and we'll do that. And of course, at the, at the end of Kumon, you always get a fun little certificate of achievement that you can fill out for them and just gives them a whole sense of accomplishment. Hey y'all, there you have it. This is just like a really simple cursive writing book just to give practice to your child if they've already been introduced to writing letters, um, writing the alphabet in cursive. It just reinforces what they've learned and helps them to put words together, helps them learn how to read in cursive. And it's colorful and it's fun. So God bless, take care, and I'll talk to you in the next video.